Alright, so let's see if I can uh, keep this under time. Anyways, I want to tell you a story. And it's about a, a, a group of, of guys and uh, a kid they took along with them. Uh, and they were tasked to go halfway around the world and put boot to ass uh, to a government that was tyrannical. Um, that wasn't the reason why they were going. It just is what it is. So they get over there and they're doing their thing. And they're out in the middle of nowhere. They're kind of lucky because they had a civil affairs team uh, operating in the same area that was digging wells and building schools and uh, made their job a lot easier because it made those people um, way more receptive to them and um, and it just built that rapport so uh, it was a conservative uh, kind of area um, just like with any country you have your progressive and your conservative areas and one of the things they insisted on was that the girls' uh, school be kept separate. Like the, the boys and the girls couldn't go to the same school. So, cool. They went ahead and built them uh, a whole separate school. Um, one day this team is walking through uh, the bazaar that's kind of like in the middle of a uh, collection of these villages. And... Um, these people come up all frantic and want them to follow them. So, you know, they were, some of them were recognized. And, uh, and so, sure, no problem, let's go. Well, they roll up on uh, the girls' school and one of the walls is, has collapsed in on the school. And there's uh, there's some guys trying to dig dig through the rubble for and and they were um, uh, they're making haste. So this team gets out and starts digging through the rubble, and they start pulling these these half dead, broken little bodies out of this rubble. Um, the government that had been kicked out the uh, local government uh, warlords if you know for lack of a better term had decided it might be uh, in their best interest to go ahead and um, blow up the girls school and send a message to the villagers hey get back in line or else and uh and they they were hoping that it would make them uh, way less uh, supportive of this group of this team of guys. So um, you know that's that's tyranny. You know tyranny is not always a, on a national level where the entire you know government's doing it. It could be you know warlords. It could be gangs like in in Hades going you know going uh, just it's horrible over there but this is what it looks like these are the victims of tyranny these are the people that end up getting it the worst it's the children you know in any country doesn't matter this situation is not unique. This situation is not unique. It's not unique to this group of, of guys. It, it's not unique to that theater. Um, it's happening all over the world to, to thousands of soldiers that are, are in the same situation um, as that team. They're, they're really fighting tyranny out there um, because it's happened all over the globe throughout the history of mankind. Um, for those of you that think that it's completely ridiculous that it could happen here, I ask you this. Do you think we will always be governed by saints? Because I say we don't have a saint in the White House right now. 
Um, and if you look at the laws that have been passed since 9-11, um, you know, it's not looking too promising. And I would rather err on the side of caution. And uh, I just go ahead and keep my AR. So, um, and if you're like, what laws? You know, whatever. Uh, why don't you Google the Patriot Act, the NDAA, the ND, um, the ND, the NDRP, um, uh, HR 645, HR 347, um, uh, Army Manual, uh, FM, uh, what is it, 3-3. Three nine uh, dot forty, um, the FISA um, Foreign Intelligence uh, Surveillance Act. Um, it's you know you you can start with just those there, and you know it makes you it makes you start to wonder. Um, and and what are we talking about? We're talking about assault rifles. Dude, they've, they're less than 2% of, of all crime. Like, I think it's less than 1% um, of all crime is committed with an assault rifle. So, really, why are we getting rid of those? Um, you know, there are guys who are fighting for free in the name of freedom all over the world right now, all over the globe. Like, we're stretched thin. But we got these guys who are out there fighting. The least we can do is fight to keep the freedoms that we have. Um, you know, the, the First Amendment's under attack. The Second Amendment's under attack. The Fourth, the Fifth, and the Sixth Amendments are under attack. Um, you know, we, we have something where we can actually do something right now. Uh, if you Google Ruger, take action now. Um, the first link it brings up uh, will take you to the Ruger site where they have typed up a letter. All you have to do is fill out your contact information, um, type in your name to sign it, and uh, and hit send. And it will send it to the president, the vice president, both your senators, your house, your representative from the House of Representatives, and all your local state legislators too. Um, do we really? Man, it comes down to this. I want to hand this country off um, to my son better than I got it. You know, I felt like I was born a free man and went and fought for freedom. And, uh, and I don't want to leave my son with a country less free. That just doesn't, that doesn't seem right. So, you know, all, all my brothers and sisters in the armed forces that are taking care of business overseas somewhere, the least we could do is write a letter that's going to take you less than five minutes. You know, just, I do it on my lunch break uh, every day. Um, you know, because it takes, it's seriously taking me less than three minutes to knock it out. So please, please, at the very least, the, the, like we can't make it simpler. Like it's, it's all there for you. All you're basically doing is putting your information in. Please stand up for your rights. Tyranny is all over, comes in all shapes and sizes. And if we don't fight now, what will we have to fight it with later? I'm out.